Today we're going to cover acceleration of abilities. As we near 2012, the planets in our solar system are heating up and rising in frequency. Every living and non-living thing on each planet is also rising in frequency, including every cell in our bodies. Many people have innate abilities that they were born with, such as the ability to have out-of-body experiences and psychic abilities. In this video, we'll discuss ways to develop these abilities in which you should start seeing immediate results within your first week. An aura is an energy field that surrounds all living and non-living things. Everything is interconnected in our solar system. Each one of the cells in our bodies generates electricity. As we've seen with lightning, electricity connects with other bolts of lightning to create chain lightning as like attracts like. Our bodies are conductors for electricity and, as we're seeing as we near 2012, like-minded people are attracting like-minded people. Your aura is an electromagnetic field that surrounds your body. Look into a mirror and gaze at a spot a few inches away from your ear or the top of your head. At first, you might see a nearly invisible field of energy, about one inch from your head. As you continue to focus on this area, a color will begin to show. This is the color of the energy your body is emitting. It's like a lie detector. You can tell if people are living in negativity or fear by the color of their auras, which will have red or black in them. You can also see auras in other objects, such as a tree or a seashell. With practice, this ability will become easier and easier to do. Greg Braden mentioned a study in which mass meditation was used to measure global effects on behavior and proving how everything is connected. The results of this test showed that the act of consciousness affected behavior. Crystals can be seen as plasmatocytes in a blood analysis. Fiber optics work on a thin crystal fiber technology that transmits information over thin lines of this material. ESP can be developed in a similar way by creating visual waves of energy and transmitting these waves to another person through thought, concentration, and visualization. In theory, our thoughts create the holograms for the images which are sent from one person to another. Here's how two people can work on telepathy. Find five pairs of small household items. Each person will sit back to back with one set of these items in front of them. One person will pick up an item and try to send a telepathic message to the other, while the other tries to guess what that item is. The person sending the telepathic message can experiment in different ways on telepathically sending the object, such as envisioning many of the same objects in a group or associating the object with your other senses. When the person has guessed which item was sent telepathically, both participants will hold the item out to their side to compare their results. If you're using five items, you have a one in five chance in guessing correctly. If your results are over 20% correct, then you're beating the probability of chance. If your results are over 50%, then you're developing this ability quite well. Each of us has a projective and receptive hand. Our receptive hand is the opposite of the hand that we use the most. In other words, if you're right-handed, your receptive hand is your left hand. Every color has a vibration. Red vibrates higher than black, so in this experiment, we'll be using playing cards. Try to find a blue deck of cards, because a red deck might throw you off. As I mentioned, the color red vibrates at a higher frequency than black, so with your receptive hand, you'll be able to feel the color of the suit and how many there are of that particular suit. With practice, you'll eventually be able to guess the correct color and the number of hearts, clubs, spades, or diamonds with a much higher success rate versus chance. Here's what you do. Remove all of the face cards in a deck of playing cards, then shuffle the non-face cards. Lay one card face down. Place your receptive hand over the card and move it side to side and back and forth, trying to feel the presence of the heat in that hand. For example, a ten of hearts will feel warmer than a three of hearts because there are more red hearts and more color vibration. Similar to telepathy, telekinesis uses the mind to move objects. There's a plethora of information about this on YouTube, but I'll cover this briefly on this video. Telekinesis is very difficult to do and takes incredible concentration. 
when beginning to experiment with telekinesis, start out with small, lightweight objects. Expect to put a lot of time and effort before you begin to see results. Don't ever become frustrated if you don't receive immediate results. You have the ability to do so much more than what you've ever dreamed. Always try to push your perceived limits and please remember the only person who can hold you back is yourself. Good luck, have fun, and keep me posted on your progress in my forum at the address below.